Hello and welcome. Right, today we are going to be taking a look at another electric bike, but this one is by iScooter. It is called the U2. Not to be mixed up with the band, this is better than the real thing. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's the first one I've had which has brown leather seat and handlebars on it. It's actually quite snazzy. So, let me take you up close, let's have a good look around it. I'll go through all the specs and then we'll take it for a ride. I'm impressed with this, it's, it's stylish, very stylish. I would say this is a very, very unisex one. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, I think it suits either. It is also available in white, but personally, I don't know, black for man or woman, I think is as good as white for all, for man or woman really. They are calling it a U2 commuter step through, as you can see. Step through electric bike. Step throughs are always the best I find for um, people of my age and above. I'm now 50. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I find it quite hard getting my leg over on the bikes nowadays. So that, for me, is a selling point straight away. So they've gone for a classic vintage look to it, as you can see with the handlebars there, and with the luxurious brown leather seat, very nice. And the handles, like I said, with the nice stitch in there, the brown. Like that a lot. I do like the shape and the feel to this, with the bike rack on the back as well. We have got a 36 volt, 13 AH, 468 watt hour battery, which is portable as well. So, to do that, you would lift the seat up here. Yep, there's an handle there. Lift the seat up. Turn the key into the bottom, and that should now, hopefully, slip straight out. And it's quite small, it's quite light. Usually they're a lot heavier than that. So you can now take that indoors with you, charge that up, and bring it back out without any fuss or worrying about taking the bike with you whilst you're doing it. It is a rear hub motor which you can see there, which is apparently very quiet, so we'll test that when we take it out for a ride. And you should get, this is quite impressive, 56 miles maximum range in pedal assist. I like that. 56 miles, you know, that's as good as pretty much any other bike I've reviewed. And for such a, a I'd call it a small battery, that makes it even better. Maximum speed on this is 15.5 miles per hour. If you wished, you could change that up to 20 miles per hour by unlocking it. And to do that, if you go on their website, um, it tells you exactly how to do it. And all you're doing is pressing a few buttons here and it will change it. But you've got to remember, once you're going over 15.5 miles an hour, it becomes illegal in the U on the UK roads. Excellent sized tyres. 26 inches, 26 by 1.95 inches, uh, nice size tyres there, the payload 19 stone, so pretty much anyone can ride this, up to 19 stone, it's also got, as you can see, the rear rack, we have got 7 Shimano gears, which is pretty standard now with nearly every electric bike I've ever seen. They're always very good. We've got front suspension as well. We've got a shock absorbing seat. You see the shock there? Which is, again, something I've noticed recently just on a few bikes. And it does make a big difference when you're riding. We've got front and rear wired lights so they can be turned on and off through the button there whilst you're riding excellent it is daylight so you're not going to see them very well but i've put them on for you so we've got four big bulbs in there that's very nice 
and I've always liked these where the brake light stroke rear light is attached to the bike rack. That's quite stylish as well. The bike does come with a pump, which you don't normally get sent one from most companies, so that's a nice feature having a pump sent to you. You also get a throttle, which again, it's illegal to have a throttle on in the UK on the roads, but if you're going off road or you're going abroad, you could attach the throttle. It's very, very simple. Um, you basically just wrap it around, where would you have it? Here, probably. Uh, screw it onto there and then the wire would come down here and go attach into that very simple Rider height how tall or small can you be to ride this they're recommending five foot three to six foot three So that's a broad range Five foot three is is a nice small size I've had some recently which were five foot seven for the smallest so five foot three very very good I did read that this has seven power assist, pedal assist um, modes, which I was quite excited about, but I've just gone into it here and I'm only finding five. See the five bars there as I'm going up and down? So I don't know if it's five or seven, but uh, we'll try that out again when we go out for a ride on it. Dimensions are always nice to know. So we are talking 180 centimetres long. 115 centimetres high by 65 centimetres wide and the beauty about this now I've always said this they should either include them and put the price up a little bit or make it very easy for you to get accessories for the bikes and these do so very very cheap accessories you can get a front basket you know like the old fashioned it's even got the clip here where you can put it so it's a big wire basket you can get put on the front of there. £29.99 they're selling them for. Bargain. Um, you can get a paneer bag. You know the bag which goes over the back rack. Only £34.99. And if you want to really go stylish, for £19.99 you can have rear mirrors. You know the big mirrors which come out? So three little extras which if I had this bike I would definitely be investing in them so that's what 30 65 75 for 85 pounds you can have the mirrors the pannier rack pannier bag sorry and the basket at the front on top of what is already a very very well priced bike let's just check that out look at my notes here here we are, so full price is £799, incredibly cheap, incredibly cheap for a good bike that, but they've got it on their website at the moment, reduced to £589.99, an absolute steal if the bike is any good. We haven't ridden it yet, that's the important bit, let's take this on the road and see how it performs. So away we go. These uh, handles are very, very comfortable. Right, so I'm setting off in assist mode number one and in first gear. Just very nice, very slow. What are we going? Three, four miles an hour, so like walking pace. And as I say, the handles themselves, whoops, I've got a sticker still on there. The handles themselves, they are like a leather outer, but they're, they're cushioned, sort of slightly cushioned so very comfortable to hold right let's go up to second gear third gear it is very smooth yeah this is the kind of bike you know when you see people on country lanes middle-aged older people just chilling out going going up the lanes, past the fields, like I am now, I suppose. Um, it feels like it's a, the bike for that. Although I think they're calling it a commuter bike as if it's for traveling to work on. Either or, really. This, is, yeah, this is, this is something you'd like to buy your grandma. <laughs> but I am not saying this is just for old people. 
I'm just saying it would really suit them. I think what I do like about this bike is it is suitable for pretty much anybody. So we're up to seventh gear now. So that's a bit of a strain on the legs now with pedal assist. So let's put it up to pedal assist number two. Not noticing much difference. Three. A little bit easier. Four. That, oh, four. <laughs> okay. So I'm one of these. I find the best ones for me. I would be setting off in pedal assist number one. And then I'd just shoot it straight up to number four. Because I know that's when it really kicks in. Five. It, whoa. In five, it flies. So I would say numbers two, pedal assist uh, levels two and three are pretty much, don't make much difference, but one, four, and five are fantastic. Big difference. This is lovely, this is smooth. As I said, the seat is very comfortable. The handles are very, very comfortable. The brakes, let's try the brakes, shall we? Yep, brakes work fantastic. And the suspension kicked in then as well, which is nice to know. So setting off in assist five, bit slow going, but then yeah, it just takes over. So I'm now going 15.5 miles per hour. So they've got that bang on. It won't go any faster, but it will go exactly 15.5. Now, if I was to ride a, an electric bike, if I had a house, as you all know, I live in a motorhome. I haven't got a house or a garage to store a bike in. But if I did, I think this is the kind of thing I'd like, just something, it doesn't look too fancy, you know, it just looks nice and elegant and vintage, it doesn't look in your face, it's not made to look cool, it's just made to look nice, classic, vintage, do the job, it's step through, feel very safe on this, especially with the step through. So if you, that's another good thing about step throughs, isn't it? If you are going to come off a bike, uh, you can just jump straight through. Whereas if you don't have a step through option, you tend to go down with the bike. Now I've just turned around there. I'm going to head back now. I just want to leave it in assist five. It's so nice, but come on, let's take it down, I suppose. Slow down, Dan. Come on, enjoy the day. It's a beautiful sunny day. Slow down, that's it. Okay, I'm in assist three there and it is kicking in. So maybe I was a bit too quick to judge on the assist boards two and three. Yeah, this is lovely. You know what I like about this the most? The price. What did I say this was at the moment? As I say, all oh, prices keep changing, don't they? But at the moment, I believe this is, um, what did I say? 800, uh, 589 pounds 99 at the moment, which for what you're getting is incredible. I'd expect this to be a thousand pounds. I really would. Yeah, this is my kind of bike, is this. And it hasn't got a throttle on it at the moment. I haven't put it on. But with the throttle, I wonder what it's like then. I can imagine it's even better. So if you are off-road on this or uh, private land or abroad, this would be very nice to take abroad. You know, if you do have a motorhome with a bike rack on the back, this would be a nice option rather than a folding one in the garage itself. Oh, this is a delight. So the power 
This came delivered with um, about 60% battery. I haven't recharged it, just left it at that. One thing I don't think I did tell you, I can't remember, is how long it takes to charge. I don't think I, I looked that up for you, sorry. Anyway, let's head back. What a beautiful, beautiful day on a beautiful, beautiful bike. As I say, it's available in white as well. Now, I do like white bikes. I've ridden quite a few white ones, but I do find they get a bit mucky very easily. I'd prefer black myself. Absolute delight. So five foot three to six foot three, I think it said. Which caters for most people, doesn't it? It is very, very quiet. Very quiet, especially in the lower gears. You can hardly hear it. It's when you get up into top gear and start to take off a bit. You can hear the motor, but it's certainly not in your face. Yeah, I've enjoyed that. Big mud guards on it as well, so you're not going to get muddy, which is a good thing, So I've got brand new trousers on today. An absolute joy. For the money, I'm telling you, I don't think you'll get better than this for the money. Now the tyres are, are quite standard tyres, they're not, they're not too thick, they're not too thin. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of the fat tyred ones. The weight is pretty good. I think I said it was 27 kilograms, which for an electric bike isn't bad. For a full size electric bike, that is. They're normally over 30 kilograms. Yeah, really, really enjoyed riding that. That was a delight. If you want to be the proud owner of something as beautiful as this, links in the description. Follow the links and get yourself a bargain. A bargain, a brilliant bargain of a bike. Try saying that after a few drinks. So that was the U2 from iScooter. And I'll tell you what, for the money, I think that is the best one I've ridden for under £600. That is fantastic. As I say, I think this would have normally been... I've, I've been on very similar, which are a £1,000, let's put it that way. Um, right up my street, love the bike a lot. Thank you very much to iScooter for sending me this. Last time they sent me something was when I broke my arm, my arm a few years ago. It was a scooter, so they do actually do scooters as well, electric scooters. So if you're looking for anything else, look on their website. But as for this, the U2, I can highly, highly recommend it. It is a joy. Thank you for watching. See you all on the next one. Bye-bye.